You ever just not re-download a game because it's been a while and you're gonna get your cheeks clapped off into the sunset? That's kind of been me with TF2. Uh, I didn't re-download it for a long time, mostly because I just I just didn't feel like having to try to get good again or even co competent. Uh, let, let's not go so far, <laughs> just competent at the game. When I originally got into it, it was 2008, and I got it from my Xbox 360. Well, I got the orange box for my Xbox 360. Uh, I played it there for a while and I love the game, so my friend tells me that I should get it for the PC, it'll, pro it'll probably be better. So I decided to do just that, and that's the game that actually got me into PC gaming, like real good PC gaming. So I get it, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was awesome, I, I loved it. And I played the game for a few years, got off, uh, came back for the Meet Your Match update. I think after that I got I stopped playing again and came back for the Jungle Inferno. And after that I, I don't think I yeah I haven't played really since. And I would re-download the game and it would just stay in my library. I, I wouldn't play it and I was just so apprehensive and as time went on it got even harder to want to boot it up and I, I deleted it and re-downloaded it and it just kind of went on like that until well recently. And getting back into the game went as good as you think it did. Watch me paste this pathetic palooka with a powerful, paralyzing, perfect peccadormous percussion pitch. And I got to wondering why I was so afraid of returning to the game, why I, I have been so apprehensive of playing the game. And in some weird way, I, I realized that it's like opening a door to the past, that I have to come to this realization that I'm not the same person anymore. I'm not 18. I don't have to just go to a shitty job, come home and just play video games. There's a lot more responsibilities now. And on top of that, the, the, the precipice, the, the cliff of adulthood was, was there, right? I was 18, but looking back, it was just so well, easy life does what it does if it's bad it gets worse it'll beat the shit out of you and you'll fall into a monotonous routine life will slowly creep on by and just like that a decade ago goes by and the goals you had set well you're not really any closer to them now and i think that's just what kept me away it was that feeling of longing it's not the same it'll never be the same but then another feeling crept in and it was excitement because up until this year, I, I thought I had a clear goal, a, a clear path in life. And then I hit my 30s and I realized that I actually don't want this. I don't want the thing that was in front of me. And that was definitely a very scary feeling. And I don't know if I did it on purpose or subconsciously, but I did the same time I decided to go play TF2. But it's crazy to have this feeling uh, at this age that life can still be an adventure. I didn't think I was done. I'm young. I'm only almost 33. And I know I'm not supposed to have things figured out right now, and I probably won't have them figured out for a very long time. But being left floating in space, not knowing where my direction was, was just, well, crazy after so long of having a set point to go towards. But this is comforting. And all I can do now is better than I did yesterday. And as scary as it is, I almost feel like I'm restarting my life, but it's exciting. And what's crazy is that all this came up from playing TF2. I don't know what life is going to bring, but fuck, I'm going to give it my best shot. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Tell your friends about me. I'm Iron Obelisk, and God, I love video games.